In Metagenomics 2, we talk about the analysis of 16S amplicon sequencing data. In the course, you will find information about the sequencing approaches and what are we trying to study using the 16S amplified hypervariable regions. As you go through the course, you will get an introduction about the biology as well as the data side of things. And eventually, you'll be introduced to the analysis of 16S ribosomal RNA amplicon data. The first practical exercise will be based on a visual interface. Here we will go into a demo of a 16S ribosomal RNA processing pipeline based on the Data2 package. The Data2 package is focused on making sure that the input data is high quality and removes noise before the data is analyzed. However, once the data is analyzed and structured, the taxonomy is assigned using a reference database, we turn to visualization and interpretation of the data from a biological standpoint. As you build the pipeline, you will see some of the outputs that are typically produced by both the data to itself, resulting in a biome file of all of the processed data, and then goes into PhiloSeq. A PhiloSeq package produces multiple plots based on three input data sets. Now, if we want to go behind the scenes and see what it does, we have made a tutorial in R that you can go through and run a code in R using the code playground to learn what each portion actually does. So first, you need to install PhiloSeq. Installing PhiloSeq can be done using Bioconductor BioC Manager install PhiloSeq. Now we need to import the data and there are three different data types that we need to import. First of all, we're going to use the Amplicon Abundance Table or the OTU Abundance Table. Then we will look at the Taxonomy Table which assigns a, taxono a taxonomic classification for which one of our operational taxonomic units. And finally, we're going to look at a supplementary table that explains which sample comes from which group. In this case, we have the abundance table based on each one of our samples and each one of the assigned OTUs. We have a classification for the operational taxonomic units and we'll choose the phylum as the taxonomic assignment. And then here is, the taxo here is the sample input. So you can see that we have three groups, acne, prior priorial dermatitis, and non-healthy. Now we're going to define what are the, these inputs. Remove the columns that we don't use so that we end up with a ma matrix of data that PhiloSeq can process. Now we have to transform as input for PhiloSeq, so we have to assign them to specific names and start visualization. There are several types of visualizations that PhiloSeq can do. Bar charts, NMDS, or other types of dimensionality reduction like principal coordinate analysis. And then we can draw our plots and add different types of annotation for the plot itself. For example, here you can see that we've assigned a bar plot based on ordination and have a bar plot of composition for all the different types of phyla that we have. This is the output based on alpha diversity channel 1 or Shannon and non-metric multidimensional scaling ordination for each one of our categories. You can see adult acne, none, and perioral dermatitis. Now let's take a look at the code itself. So in the code playground, what you will have is a full script that runs on the cloud to perform all of this analysis. Let's just click run and see what it does. I can edit the code. And what you will see 
is that the code itself contains all of the different types of results, but I just need to select which one do I actually want to do, uh, do I actually want to visualize. For example, the first visualization is going to be samples and taxa, NMDS or multidimensional scaling of our samples and of all of the different taxa. So let's change that. Instead of plotting ordination, we can look at, uh, for example, the ordination plot. Now, since I modified the script, my answer is going to be incorrect, but you can see that the plot now is the ordination plot for all of the samples colored by group. All of these different outputs are actually explained in the Metagenomics 2 course. So when you go into the study, you will see a step-by-step -step guide, as well as an explanation of what is it that we're actually getting as an output, and what do these different types of methods mean. So I welcome you to try this little tutorial about metagenomic sequence analysis using the 16S Amplicon data.